Hot dang. Hello. It's Sunday here in Georgia. Beautiful sunny day. You know, yesterday, the video I put up, it rained all day, which was excellent because we needed the rain. So today is just a beautiful sunny day. So I decided why not pull out all these beautiful axes <laughs> and hatchets and tomahawks and uh, just go through them and uh, talk about them. There's some cool ones and, you know, generic ones, but they're all usable. So let's get this party started. Head I ever hung. Um, I'm not sure where this handle came from, but uh, it's hickory. It's pretty nice. Anyway, a cool old three and a half pound plum head. For some reason, plums, old plums, uh, actually, and newer, newer ones that aren't so good. The older ones are awesome. Find their way to me. So, anyway, this is pretty cool. I didn't do the best job hanging it, but it was a learning experience. And then this one is a cool old little Collins. I love double bits. Let me see that. Anyway, I love this one. Old handle I picked up from a dude down the road. It did. And let's go with this. Since we're on the plum, double bit plum. Got this from my friend Don Snow. And uh, I was trying to take the handle off and broke it. <laughs> so I whittled it down and rehung it. This is a cool size. I really like this. Double bits are so cool. All right, let's go. A friend of mine in California bought a farm. And one day out in the field, he found this. And uh, when he came back to Georgia, he said, hey, man, I got you a, a hatchet. I was like, oh, cool. Grand Sports Brooks hunting axe. So this had been outside for at least a year, maybe longer. In the and I just soaked it in some oil, and it's a great little hatchet. All right, let's go with these. I'm not sure what this is, <laughs> but it's pretty dang awesome. I bought a box of ax heads and stuff. Um, just your generic hatchet. I think I've had that one for 25 years. It does what it's supposed to do. Throw it in the bag and go. This is crazy awesome. Some old it's like fiberglass old hatchet. It's actually really cool. And kind of discovering these razorbacks, um, the hatchet and the axe. Axe really, really hold up. I've thrown the crap out of these and cut wood with them. Pretty dang cool. This one, I love carpenter hatchets. This one belongs to my brother-in-law. It belonged to his best friend's grandfather or something. Anyway, I rehandled it for him, cleaned it up. God, it turned out, turned out pretty dang good, I think. Oh. And sticking with our plum theme, 
Got this from a friend, Andy. I need to hang that one. I really like that. And then this one is really, really freaking old. I have no idea what about it. <laughs> then I got this from a buddy of mine. wicked right there man look at that jeez but um i think this belonged to his roommate and this is his handle that he made and of course sticking with the uh plum theme got this really nice old plum original handle a friend of mine matt in alabama gave me this a couple years ago and then <laughs> a few years later another friend was like hey i got this uh she's you want it? I look at this plum. Look, it fits. <laughs> now it's complete. All right. Uh, let's see. Now this is a crazy head. It's. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this. I cannot even read that. Olympus. Oh, Kelly and Company. Is that Olympus? No. We'll have to get back on that one. <laughs> but it's a massive head. I don't even know what the thing would have been used for. But here's a cool axe I got from a buddy of mine, Jason Chapman. Really short handle. This is freaking awesome. He has a... Uh, Instagram page, the Axe and Spoon, does uh, restores axes, hatchets, and makes carp spins. And then of course, can't go wrong with the Holtz Brooks. I won this in a raffle with the Georgia Bushcraft fall camp out one year. So sweet, mama, so sweet. All right, so my father gave me this head. It was red when I cleaned it up. Left to well, orange. <laughs> Left to the orange right there. Um, I hung this one. Beaver tooth handle. I love their handles. Um, this head. <laughs> he has a friend. He goes junking a lot. And he has a friend that he goes to his house every now and then to see what he's got. Old, uh blind black man and he had this axe with a dumb another handle of course uh, propped up in his house and my father was asking him about it and he was like no 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 use that <laughs> so, <laughs> and my father was like oh cool that's that's good well, that's awesome so a year later he went back in and the handle was broke he was like what happened he was like oh well, well you can have it so gave it to me and I love the story, so I had to hang it. <laughs> and this is another Jason Chapman. He taught a class on handling, or putting a handle on your ax at the Georgia Bushcraft camp out, and I got this from him. I love that head, look at that. And it throws well, too. Man, done the Husqvarna. Man, for the price, you cannot go wrong with these axes. I take this with me all the time in the woods. It throws well, and it survives in water. <laughs> but then a while back, I guess this place went out of business or doing something. But anyway, 20 bucks. I should have bought a bunch, but I didn't. I bought one. I mean, the sheath is worth <laughs> 20 bucks. So anyway, that's, that's really cool. Okay, let's step back here. Baku, Baku. Uh, I think this is like 15 years old or something. Anyway, I handled that one. A little leather just because I like leather. 
It's a nice little hatchet, actually. And then this little fella, classic Condor. This one's great. It's so lightweight. You can, you can do some work with it. You know, not heavy duty stuff, but it's, it's dang usable. That's for sure. Then, <laughs> I didn't realize I had that many plums. There's another awesome plum. This was handled by Jason Chapman, and he made the leather sheath. That's all that stuff on there. This is my wife's, actually. She put her mark on it. She's like, don't be using my stuff. <laughs> all right, I don't know. This one, I think someone sent me a link, and I think this one date backs to dates back to late 1800s. Look at that. That's so weird. But I love this handle. It's so nice. So cute. All right. This little fella, this has got some weight to it. It's a shrew. This was given to me by Andy Duffy, who I think is like a 12-time national champion skeet shooter. He gave this to me a few months ago at the Alabama Slingshot Tournament. This is really awesome. This was my first tomahawk. This guy down the road sold me. $25 deal, I think it was. And then USA. Love these. Man, these are great. These are great heads. So much stuff you can do with those. They're beautiful. So usable. This is one of my favorites that I carry with me everywhere. Another Jason Chapman handled and leather work. Love this. Man. So, anyway. That one's cool. So was this, one original. <laughs> God, this is, man, that just looks wicked, doesn't it? Hmm. Got that on trade. Yes, sir, I did. All right, well. That's looking like about everything except some of these Roscoe Pico heads here. Let's give these a gander. I didn't point this one out. I think it's a cold steel trail boss, maybe. Buddy of mine gave me that. All right. God. Yeah, bluegrass head. Three dollars. That's what's amazing. That you can still buy these heads and they're great steel. Kelly Perfect, True Temper. Man, look at that. <laughs> it's a massive head. Rock of Ages USA, if you're still watching, these are the ones that I wanted to send you. It's a, you see that? But it's got a crack. I figured that'd be right up your alley. You could do something with that. Red Warrior, whoa. And then this one, I don't know if I can, uh, maybe you can see. This might beat the crap out of that. But if you want these, I will totally send them to you, brother. I think that's about getting down to the nitty gritty right there. Dang, can I see that? Oh, Collins. Sweet. And then this one right here. Man, don't you just love these? What? Then I found this in an abandoned building. It's like, what the hell is that thing? It's a Picatune. 
stick it in wood and pick it up. <laughs> so, this was on a friend's back porch. Talked him out of it. I'm gonna clean it up. Handle's good. Everything's good. Just needs to be cleansed. Then we got this old fella. True temper, Kelly perfect. I need to cut the handles off, but anyway, that <laughs> that's been used. Don't know what this one is, but it's got a nice head. Doesn't matter. Can't really use any of these handles, but heads are cool. And then going back to the Razorback, man, I have thrown this thing and thrown it. And like I said, the hatchet and these are super good. Unknown head, but it looks freaking awesome. Look at that profile. Man. Well, can't forget this brush hook. Had this, this has belonged to a friend of the family's grandfather or something. And uh, Jason Chapman put a handle for me. Whoa, oh, it's deadly. Look at that thing. It's deadly. I don't know if I showed you this one. This was super, super cheap on uh, Amazon. Look at the. Totally. Thanks for hanging out, talking to axes and all that cool stuff. Um, part of all that is handles. And I've ordered a few from, from Beaver Tooth. They're pretty cool, do a great job. Uh, I think it's a kind of a mom and pop company, but sometimes you can just find these at yard sales or hardware stores. This is an old handle I found in a building just refurbishing reusing an old handle but anyway this is fun man i really like axes and hatchets and just just think that you can most of the time pick up something like this for really inexpensive and a handle and make your own axe and put it to work you know it's the kind of thing you pass down from many generations if you want you know because they just unless you just drop them in the ocean or something <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out and uh, enjoy this beautiful, beautiful Sunday sunshine. I hope it's sunny where you're at. Anyway, rock on. <laughs>